I'm Casey, this is Javi, and today we have Grace, aka Mole Rat. Hello. Yay, hello, <laughs> thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. This is snack time. What are we gonna make today? Uh, we're making a rice bowl, uh, keeping it vegan for Grace as she's on tour. Uh, trying you. to like sustain her for a little bit since she hasn't cooked in 11-ish months. <laughs> So what are we going to do first? Uh, we're going to drop rice in boiling water, uh, season it before it goes down, and then we're going to get these uh, king trumpet mushrooms. Yeah. And then I'm going to have you just kind of like, yeah, just kind of like want to split it down the middle. And then all we're going to do is kind of like, this is kind of like annoying, but it helps to draw out excess moisture on the mushroom. So we're doing like little You're like scoring, scoring it. it. Yeah. Do you okay. do the same to the little ones? Yeah, you can do it to Cute. Them. So the They're little's really good kind of I really like this one. Yeah, that one's stunning. And then that'll just kind of help draw out moisture to promote browning on the mushroom. And then um, I usually kind of keep the pan dry until the end. Like okay. I don't really like. So they just go in in there. Yeah. On and their then own. A little scoring thing. Ready. And then you don't want to season mushrooms like right away either, because they'll draw out even more water. And then okay. they'll, they'll like never ah. sear properly. Good to know. I'm just gonna do some garlic quickly, just to like slice it up and get it going. Okay, and you slice to the ends off the garlic. Yeah. You know what I do with garlic? Tell me if this is a bad thing to do. I use a garlic crusher a lot. No, it's good. I usually okay. microplane it, honestly. But for this, okay. I kind of just want to like coat it and make yeah. it look kind of like nice. But I'll usually just like grate this down. I like rarely slice garlic. It's it, yeah. It seems like um, kind of hectic to do it every time. Yeah, like. See, like now they're like starting Ooh, to like evenly brown. That looks beautiful. Brown. That's stunning. Yeah. Wait, we forgot about this guy. Oh yeah, this guy got left behind. And then, guy. There we go. We almost forgot his butt. Then, so we're just like searing them a little. Yeah. So you just want to like start getting the moisture out, and then once the uh, like you start kind of seeing the steam like mm -hmm. um, stop, yeah. uh, that means a lot of the moisture is left, and then we'll add in the oil, and then we'll season them. Uh, we're gonna deglaze it with this like scallion uh, pickle. Uh, yeah. So like the the reason behind it is just like it's super quick and easy. It's like you just boil rice and then like uh, Japanese like grocery stores have such good like pantries. Like mm -hmm. The furikake, which is just like a mix of like roasted seaweed, a bunch of like sesame. Uh, and then there's just stuff. varieties, like there's like dried eggs, but for sake of this dish, it's just the vegan. Wow. Uh, vegan. And then like Yum. fried onions and then shichimi, which is burnt citrus peel chili. That's the so stuff. Just, like, everything's super intensely flavored uh, with like such a minute amount of like prep. So just like yeah. to get something like this is like an easy yeah. dinner thing like can actually do yeah. on a weeknight right. a weeknight <laughs> for the kids <laughs> pick them up from the yeah. training as a busy mom of four yeah no. i mean all of us in the music industry are busy moms it's so they get color really really quickly and then you just ooh. and then you just kind of like wait for the last minute to okay. add the oil and I kind of want this to bloom. So to bloom? Yeah, so if you just put like spices in oil, okay. it like, it promotes like all the oil from the spices to like come out and it'll like flavor everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Yum. So yum. So that was this stuff, the red pepper mix. Sashimi? Sashimi? Sashimi togarashi. What is it? Is it Sashimi togarashi? How would you say that? Togarashi? Togarashi. Yeah, it's not a... What is it? Shichimi. Shichimi? Yeah. Okay. So we're taking the mushrooms off now. They're browned. Okay. So then that's the like result of just like scoring everything. It looks so good. It gets like a nice amount of browning. And then now that we're going to drizzle this like burnt scallion vinegar over it just to kind of like help it absorb. So what's in that? Um, it's a mixture of like banyols, muscatel, and sherry vinegar, and a tiny bit of olive oil just to like cut the acid because it's pretty uh, pungent. But um, we just want it to like go on the mushrooms while they're still hot because they'll absorb all the vinegar instead of making it uh, like a really oily like, smell thing. It's um, and then we'll just add more of the shit shimmy on it just to kind of season the stages. I'm watering. I'm watering. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth. Nice. Yeah. These are so peach shoots? Yeah, these are peach tendrils from Kong uh, Farmer's Market. Uh, yeah. Bok choy as well. And then um, just like baby bok choy. So the whole thing's like pretty much edible. Oh, so we're just slicing the butt off these? Cut it lengthwise. 
Oh, okay. Go across and then just to make it into like little bite sized. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yum! And then we'll just keep them like that. And then uh, we'll kind of do the same thing. We'll just like saute nice. them, uh, add some garlic, some salt. So these boys are just cut into quarters now. These look so good. Are we keeping this big leaf? Yeah, you can keep that. We can just break it down a little bit if you want. Break it down? Okay. I'm just going to cut these down so a little okay. bit more manageable. Pieces. It was a huge leaf, honestly. Okay. <laughs> So you're tossing those in the pan. Yeah. Wait, you didn't add any more oil. It's just the oil mm -hmm. left over from the mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. So just like, you know, keep yeah. a minimal thing up too. But yeah. um, the mushrooms browning actually will add flavor to this when we add the like vinegar to it and kind of like deglaze it make it little. So we're throwing the vinegar on the uh, bok yeah. choys too. Uh, yeah. Just to kind of season everything. I like how good the mushrooms look. They look insane. They look so good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, 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 please. I'm like a tiny one. Yummy. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna do that. Oh my god. Oh, yum, yum. It's so <laughs> good. It's not delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Dare I say? Yeah. I, I think they are. The rice is on the floor. So we're just gonna use some yuzu. Um, mm. In full Ina Garden fashion, we yeah. have a uh, fresh yuzu uh, from Mud Creek, uh, one of the farmers in Ojai. Yeah, um, LA is like not real. Like we have the yuzu mm -hmm. available locally, so this is like available. I think through Jeff Bezos' oh. website. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that which cannot be named. <laughs> it smells insane. There's something. It's like it reminds me of a candy. Or, oh, you know what it kind of reminds me of is lemon heads. Oh yeah, I could see that. That's what I was thinking of. There's like a very nostalgic lemon head. Did you have lemon heads in Australia? Oh, uh, I've never had one. There are can't speak for everybody though. What was your favorite candy for Halloween? Um, we don't really have Halloween, Halloween in oh, Australia no. either. Okay. But my favorite lolly was, we don't call it candy, we call it lollies. My favorite lolly was, there were these things called Werther's Originals. Oh, oh yeah. Do you oh, have them? Yes. Yeah. I so really good. like them. Those are like, they're very like, Old people type yeah, candies here? Yeah. Are they there? Okay. Uh, a little bit dry. So, uh, this is the black color. Oh. Um, same thing, mushroom pan, uh, and then seal like caramelized nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much what we want. And again, just like everything that we're doing, we just want to like season with this vinegar so it's kind of like super bright. Yeah. Uh, and then oh this God. we're going to douse with a bunch of furikake. Furikake is just like roasted nori. Uh, and it gets broken down and it has a bunch of like sesame seeds. So Yum. it's pretty like. Salty and it has like some like natural like glutamate in it, so it makes okay. it feel like really like unctuous. Yum. Um, and it's just kind of like kind of decorative too. It just looks really looks beautiful. So pretty. Um, strain this and then Casey, okay. you wanna add some oil to that pan? To this pan? Yeah. Okay, olive oil. Uh, yeah. That'd be just a, a dash. Just a, yeah, just a little bit. Just oh, well. so restraining the rice out, like you would pasta. Do we do you make uh, gluten, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you a carb queen? Lately, yeah. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> what's your like what's your go to carb? Well, there's this mac and cheese truck down the road from our house. What? It does like vegan mac and cheese and normal mac and cheese and you can add so many yummy things and it's so oh. yummy. You can add vegan duck and it's so good. Vegan, vegan duck. duck. Vegan duck is the best for me. What's in my humble opinion? I've never eaten regular duck, so I don't. Is it well, like come try this vegan duck? It's okay. so good. I mean, I guess it's just a soy protein, but there's something about it that's just so good. Ooh, okay. so we're just gonna hit the bok choy with the zest. Yum, the yum. Hit it with the zest. Then, oh my god, it smells so good. Kind of looks like botargo, which is cool. Like botargo? Botargo. It's like cured egg yolk that people usually. Microplane everything. Wow. Oh my um, god, do you smell that? So then, like, what does microplane mean? Oh, uh, so it's actually, microplane is just like this uh, little tool. Really? Yeah, it's the brand. So, oh, uh, okay. and then you just like. Uh, so great. Yeah, basically. you kind of like, it's like a micro size, like, uh, grater. So I didn't realize like microplane was it, a brand. Yeah, it's like. The it's like a, a tissue, like people almost. saying, I need a Kleenex. It's right. one of those it's a things. Mm. Thing, yeah. yeah. Oh. I just do Interesting. That. And then again, I'm like, now we'll see the seeds, uh, which are kind of crazy. And cut into the sky. Wow! Yeah, that's awesome. It's kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. Fruits and vegetables just like blow my mind nature. how beautiful they are on the inside. Yeah, nature's pretty freaking wild, you know? It's 
very trendy right now. <laughs> Yuzu is trendy. Yuzu. What's like another? I feel like Brussels sprouts had a moment. They did. They had a huge moment. Kale, yeah. obviously. Grace, would you mind handing that bowl over? Mm -hmm. I think we're yeah. just like ready to assemble Ooh. now. Oh, really? So, yeah, everything's ready. The time has come. Yeah, oh, set the, Okay. This bowl over here on the cutting board. Mm -hmm. um, and then, here, I'll pass this. Ooh, to you. Wow. So inside, oh, we, I just hit it with like, so I hit it with seasoned uh, rice wine vinegar. Wow. So it was like some sugar, some salt. Uh, just toss some furikake in the rice, just Yum. to kind of make it look pretty, and then for flavor. And then, uh, shichimi. Shichimi. What is it? Shichimi. Shichimi. Yashi? Togarashi. Togarashi. And then a tiny bit of salt. Togarashi. Togarashi. And then. Oh my god. God, just, that looks so good. How long have you been vegan? How, like four years? Oh, oh. it's a good amount of time. Mm. Do you find it difficult to be, this is probably an annoying question, no, sorry, no. but do you find it difficult to be vegan when you're touring? It's so easy and fun. I have this really? app called Happy Cow, which like shows you no. all the vegan and vegetarian places or options near you. And we find like the most amazing food, like even in places you wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. It's like our favorite part of tour is getting dinner. Oh, That's cool. fun. I feel like I guess it makes it more of like, more of an interesting activity to search yeah. for things as opposed to like, oh, I guess we're eating Domino's again yeah. tonight. It does, it, like you end up trying new things, so it's good. Some fresh music uh, because we have it. Oh, oh my God. And then, I'm not gonna make it look too fancy. <laughs> <laughs> we're like <laughs> salivating. I always like these like, already like, um, which I probably ate like half of before we um, even started. But they're like so good for texture and just like flavor mm -hmm. also. But uh, now garnishes are done. Ready to try the bowl? Yes. We're <laughs> so hungry. Okay. Here's what we've got. Great. You, can do you can do the honors. You can do the honors. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So she's going for telling that you went for a mushroom. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. What do we think? I'm gonna 11 take out of 10. Oh. <laughs> Snack delicious. Mm. It's so yummy though. Thank you. The rice is. Are you not gonna eat? No, I'm good. I'm, good. <laughs> I'm just wait, I'm waiting for you guys. So. Thank you. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I love the like, actual yeast in it too. Oh, I want some chalk boy. Yeah, some chalk boy. So good. Mm. <laughs> 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 That's the, I, I mean, dare I say, it's the best bok choy I've ever had. <laughs> I haven't gotten anywhere with this. Yeah, it's kind of... I'm trying to try it. I just kind of shoved it in my mouth. Yeah. It tastes really meaty from the furikake and the rice vinegar, I think. How much rice vinegar did you put in it? Um, honestly, I just dashed it until the rice looked like it was coated completely, like every grain. Okay. It was like all shiny. Because it doesn't taste vinegary, mm -hmm. but it's like, yeah. just got... I don't know, it's very savory. This is an incredible bowl. We're gonna finish the <laughs> mushrooms. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming Thank, you, out Thank you so much for having me. Of course, I'm so glad we got to make something vegan-y too and something very veggie-centric. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Bye. so happy. <laughs> and thanks, Javi, mm -hmm. again. Um, and you'll be on tour, like, Always. For forever. Forever, <laughs> forever. Yeah, it's like, when do you stop? So everyone, well, I, come to a show. yeah, come to a show. <laughs> I went to a show at the Echo. It was excellent. Thank you were you. lovely. So everyone should go see Grace on tour. Thank you. It's so good. And we watched your performance on the Late Late Show. Thank you. It was incredible. Yeah. So that. good. Thank so you. proud of you. Ah. Um, <laughs> so go see Grace. Listen to Grace. Listen to Mole Rat. And we're gonna finish this bowl. See you soon. <laughs> the fork way. <Yeah. laughs>